looking so tired these days, Jack. Yeah, my wife and I are having a difficult time these days. We are fighting all the time. She seems to change so much after having a baby. Really? What's wrong? Ah, uh, it's all these little things that keep adding up, so I'm very tired. For example, I came home from work, being so tired, and the house was a mess. Sometimes, I threw my clothes away on the floor, thinking it's messy anyway. I would clean everything up later, but she was extremely angry with me about that. Okay, is there anything else? Another, okay, milk bottle story, for example. There was some milk left over. She asked me to empty the bottle and wash it. But I was so busy that day that I forgot. When she found out, she grumbled all night. If you are tired all day at work, then come home and have to listen to your wife being cranky, would you be happy? Okay, got it. I think you should have more sympathy with your wife. She just gave birth. Many women also experience postpartum depression, so it's normal to get angry easily. Besides, you're the one who made mistakes anyway. Your reason for everything is that you come home from work being tired. But it may be even more tiring for her to take care of the baby alone all day. At least you shouldn't add more work for her, right? Back to the milk bottle. You don't know how carefully mothers take care of their babies. Just thinking about the bacteria multiplying in the baby's bottle is driving them crazy. Besides, maybe she needed a bottle for her baby right away, but she didn't have one. Washing and cleaning the bottle also takes time. Babies can't wait, you know. Yeah, it seems like I was too careless. Actually, I'm not mad at her at all. I'm just a little tired of hearing complaints all day long. Lily, time flies so fast. It's already our two-year anniversary. Right? So quick. I'm glad I had you by my side all this time. So am I. Today, I ordered this crab soup. I know you like it a lot. Try it. So delicious. I love it. Thank you. I still remember on our first date, you took me here and let me try it. John, I just saw something on the plate. Let me finish the soup. Oh my god, John. Lily, these two years with you have been the happiest time of my life. We have gone through many ups and downs together, many challenges, and grown up together every single day. I now know that you and I are truly meant to be together. You are the one I've been waiting for my whole life. I believe it's the time we should move one step forward. Lily, let's get married. Let's spend the rest of our lives together. Will you do me the honor of being your husband? Yes, John. Of course. Yes. She said yes. Oh my god, John. I was so surprised. What if I didn't finish the soup? I knew you would finish it very quickly. I know you too well, Lily.
Hi, Kelly. How are you? It's been a few months since the last time we met. I'm fine, thanks, Caddy. How are you and your family? Never better, thank you for asking. I really admire you and Eric. You are such a perfect couple, though. How long have you been married now? Almost ten years. That's a long time. No regret? No. There are ups and downs, of course, but I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm so glad to hear that. What is the key to a happy marriage, in your opinion? Yeah, it works well, of course. Part of being a good couple is knowing when to give each other some space. That's true. I see a lot of people who move in together and they give up all the things which make them individuals. We spend a lot of time together, but we have our own friends, our own hobbies, and so on. Sure, you mean you don't want to be too dependent on each other? Absolutely, although you need to strike a balance. You need to make time for each other too. Of course. I imagine that it can be easy to let things slip when you have been together so long. Yeah, it's dangerous, actually. You can't take things for granted, otherwise your relationship will suffer. One more thing is, we have a cute daughter. I think having a child really strengthens the connection between two people. Of course, but you know, sometimes conflict happens the most when you're parenting. That's right. Therefore, I think the most important thing to maintain a happy marriage is sharing, respect, and understanding. Thanks a lot for your sharing, Caddy. I definitely learned something today. Hi, Jenny. Long time no see. How are you? Hi, Jesse. I'm fine. How are you? Never better, Jenny. How is your life after marriage? We're both very happy. You know, we had been together for five years before marriage. How about you, Jesse? Any news? I'm glad to hear you are happy. I'm still very into my single life. I know. I know. But... Do you have any plans for marriage in the near future? What do you think about marriage? To me, getting married is not a priority right now. You know, I'm pretty ambitious. I want to focus on my career and achieve certain results first. Yeah, but do you think you can actually develop your career even after you get married? I know, but it won't be possible to concentrate 100%. Getting married, then having children? Parenting will take a lot of time and concentration. Also, raising children is expensive. What I want is to achieve financial stability before having children, so that I can provide the best things to them. So it's best not to get married early. Yeah, that makes sense. Moreover, the previous betrayal made me no longer believe in love. In addition, the divorce rate is high. In our country, 3 out of 10 people get divorced. That really makes me have to reconsider marriage. I got it. But you should open up to people too. Not everyone is as bad as your ex. I believe you will soon find the man of your life. Thank you very much, Jenny. You're welcome. Do you mind going to the mall with me to buy Christmas presents for my sister, Michael? I forgot to do that earlier. Sure, Tom. Which mall are you planning to visit? The one just around the corner. We can walk there. Okay, let's go. Do you have any other plans afterwards? Not yet. Why? I just want to ask you to go to this Christmas Eve candlelight service with me. 
What will we do there? We can enjoy some choir performances and Christmas carols. That sounds interesting. Where is it hosted? It is at our church, which is actually right across from the mall. Let's go then. I'm sure it'll be fun. Oh no! It's snowing again! I was hoping it would be sunny today. Don't you like snow, Miley? It's really pretty to me. Yes, it's beautiful, but it's so cold that we can't do much. I guess, but I quite enjoy staying inside, having a cup of hot chocolate, and reading an interesting book. The cold weather makes it cozier. That's not my cup of tea. I'd rather go outside and be active. I miss when it was sunny. I could stay outside all day and play all kinds of sports. You know we can still play sports in the winter, right? Like ice skating, ice hockey, or snowboarding. You're right, but I don't have the equipment needed for those sports. Then let's just go outside and make some snow angels, or have a snowball fight. That actually sounds fun! Let's go, Megan! Hello, ladies. What kind of tea would you like to have today? I will have chai tea, please. Thank you. Oh, that sounds amazing. May I have the same as well? Sure. That will take about five minutes. In the meantime, please, enjoy some cookies. They're on the house. We will. Thank you so much. So, Mia, tell me, what have you been up to lately? Not much. I just stay home and watch TV. It's too cold outside to do anything. I know, right? The other day, I tried to go for a hike, but the snow was really heavy. I ended up staying in and cooking up a delicious soup for my family instead. Oh, really? What kind of soup did you make? Chicken noodle soup. It's quick and easy. It's also everyone's favorite, especially in winter. I agree. It's my favorite as well. Can you send me the recipe for it later? Of course! I'll send it to you as soon as I get home. By the way, I love the sweater you're wearing. Where did you get it? Thank you. My mom knitted it, actually. I've been wearing it every day. It keeps me warm, and the color is so pretty. Your mom is very talented. I remember her teaching us how to make gingerbread cookies when we were kids. Oh yes, I miss that too. Visit us soon, Chloe. We can bake some of those just like the old times. I would love that. Hey, David, the sun is finally out. Do you want to go ice skating with me? A new ice rink just opened near here. I can't. I lost my skates last winter when I was on holiday. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is there anything else that you want to do? It hasn't been this sunny in a while. We shouldn't waste such a beautiful day. You're right. How about snowboarding? My dad gave me a new snowboard for Christmas. I'm not that good at snowboarding, but I'll try if you help me. Of course. Let's go get our snowboards, then we can head out. Hey, Ma! 
Maya? What are you doing here? Oh, hey, Leo. I am accompanying my boss to this party. How about you? I am just helping a friend out. Who is your boss, may I ask? That guy, over there. The one wearing a blue suit. Do you see him? That one? No, the one next to him. Who is holding the champagne glass. Ah, I see. I have never seen him before. Anyway, do you have any plans afterwards? Wanna go grab a coffee or something? Sure. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, how I miss our college days. Talking about college... Have you heard about Lisa recently? Yes. She is working for a big bank, I think. Oh, that's expected. She has always been into finance. I know, right? She is living in New York as well. The job is paying really well. That's so good! I remember us three staying up the whole night to study together. What a great time. Me too. We are all working nowadays. It makes me sad sometimes. We should call her and hang out soon. It will be fun. I agree. Let's do it. Hi, Christine. You seem busy today. What project are you working on this week? The one with Sarah. I wish she was here. It's so overwhelming to have to complete it on my own. Oh, where is she right now? She is going on a business trip to Chicago. It was scheduled for next week initially, but got moved to this week. That must be terrible for you. It really is. Anyway, enough about me. What about you, Damon? What task is the boss assigning you? You know, just the usual. Nothing important, really. Since I'm an intern, she only gives me mundane tasks. Well, it must be better than what I'm doing right now. I'm so tired. There must be something I can help you with, yes? Actually, yes. I am having trouble translating this document. Can you have a look at it? It's in Spanish, and I heard you are pretty good at it. <laughs> My Spanish is alright. I'm currently studying it as a second language. Good for you, Damon. Let me know if you understand any of this then, okay? It would be very much appreciated. Sure thing, Christine. I'll let you know in an hour. Hello, Ethan. What is happening today? Why are you studying already? Oh, don't tease me about it, Rosie. I was lazy all semester, so I'm cramming for the upcoming exams now. <laughs> it's okay. I was like you when I was your age, too. Let me see. Do you need any help? Yes, please. I am struggling with this question on page 5. Can you explain it to me? Hmm... You are doing this part wrong, Ethan. You should do this step first. Oh my god! Why didn't I see that before? Let me try again. Got it? Yes. Thank you, Rosie. What subject are we studying today? We are going to go over the stuff we did last week. 
and study the newest history chapter as well. Oh, no. Not history. I'm not feeling too well all of a sudden. Come on, Ethan. You have to do it sooner or later. Let's get it out of the way. All right. Hey, Daniel. What are you doing here? I am just texting my mom. Apparently, she's having some trouble with her computer. I see. Have you solved it yet? Not really. I am still doing research on the internet. Can you finish that later? The class and I really need your opinion on something. Of course. What is it? It's about the upcoming class activity. Come inside. We are discussing it with the teacher right now. Daniel, come sit. Are you free this weekend? Yes. Why? We are planning to go on a picnic this Saturday. I just wanted to make sure that everyone can participate. Of course. I would love to join. Okay, that's settled then. Do you guys have any questions? Yes, teacher. Are we allowed to bring our pets? I am not sure. I will have to check again with the picnic site. But I do believe they are doing some construction there at the moment, so maybe it's not the best idea. I see. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? What time are we leaving? We are leaving at exactly 8 a.m., so make sure you get here a bit earlier. I got it. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I think we are good to go. Let me know if there are any other questions, okay? Okay, teacher. Is that Victor? Ah, uh, yeah. Do you remember me from school? I'm sorry, I don't remember you. Did we study together? Yes, and we lived in the same dorm, too. Really? What floor did you live on? I lived on the ninth floor. Did you live on the seventh floor? That's right. How did you know? I would see you in the elevator sometimes. I'm sorry, I don't remember you. It's all right. It was several years ago. Well, anyway, it's nice to meet you again. Victor? Layla sails, right? Yes. See? You do remember me. Okay, so where do you live now? I live in an apartment. Do you live with your parents? No. My parents moved to the country. They must be very happy there. Yes, they enjoy it very much. Do you live alone? No, I share the apartment with an old friend. Really, a friend? Is it a boyfriend? No, she's an old friend from school. We've known each other many years. How about you, Victor? Where do you live? Oh, I rent an apartment. I'm by myself. Do you like it there? Yeah, but it's kind of noisy. Maybe you should complain to your neighbors. Oh, no, no. I'm the one who makes the noise. A 
I like your shirt. Thanks. I got it last week. Did you get anything else? No, just the shirt. Where did you get it? I got it from the weekend market. How much did it cost? It cost about twelve dollars. Really? That did not cost too much at all. Yeah, it's a good price. Do you like to wear hats? Yeah, I like to wear hats, but only in the winter time when it's cold. Do you like to add jewelry? I just have this necklace that my girlfriend gave to me. Oh, what do you think about fashion? I think it's important to be in fashion. Do you have a pierced ear? No, I don't have a pierced ear. Do you have a tattoo? Yes, I do. What is the tattoo of? It's a big blue scary monster. Really? Yes. Can I see it? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, here's my tattoo. <laughs> Hey, Lula! I saw the photo on your desk. Are there four people in your family? Yes, there are four people in my family: my parents, my older sister, and me. Your sister looks pretty young. She's very personable. Do you get along with your sister? Yes, we get along okay. How about your parents? My father died many years ago. I'm sorry to hear about that. My mother is fine. She's very strong and likes to work. What does your mother do? She teaches at a university. That's great. What does she teach? She teaches psych. Pardon me? I don't understand. She teaches psychology. Ah,、oh, psychology. I understand now. How about you? Are you married? I'm not married yet. I had a girlfriend for many years, but we broke up. I'm sad to hear that. Can I return this? What is it? It's a shirt. What's wrong with it? Nothing is wrong. It just doesn't fit. Is the color wrong? No, the color is fine, but the size is much too small. Do you remember when you bought it? I didn't. You didn't buy the shirt. Who bought it? My friend bought it. Do you remember when your friend bought it? She bought it last week. Do you have the receipt? I do. Let me have the shirt and the receipt, please. Would you like to exchange it for a larger size? Can I get cash back instead? No, but I can give you a store coupon. Well, the shirt was nineteen dollars and ninety-nine cents, right? Yes, that's right. I can give you a store coupon, good for nineteen dollars and ninety-nine cents, or you can exchange the shirt for a larger size. Okay, I'll take the coupon. Okay. Thank you.
have a pet? Yes, I do. What kind of pet do you have? Can you guess? Hmm, let me guess. Do you have a pet dog? No, I do not have a pet dog. Hmm, you do not have a pet dog. Do you have a pet cat? No, I do not have a pet cat. You do not have a pet cat. Hmm. Do you have a pet fish? No, I do not have a pet fish. You don't have a pet fish, huh? You cannot guess. Do you want me to tell you? No. Wait a minute. I'm thinking. Give me one more guess. Okay, I'll give you one more guess. I know, you have a pet monkey. What? A pet monkey? Why would I have a pet monkey? Because you look like a monkey. <laughs> no, I don't look like a monkey. You look like a monkey. Okay. I cannot guess. What kind of pet do you have? I have a pet iguana. An iguana? How unusual! Where did you get it? From the pet shop. How long have you had it? About four years. What's your iguana's name? His name is Winnie. What does Winnie do? Winnie doesn't do much. He is quite lazy. What does Winnie eat? Winnie is a vegetarian. Winnie eats vegetables. That's quite interesting. What kind of foods do you like? I like all kinds of foods. Really? Can you eat spicy food? I love spicy food. The hotter, the better. You are so lucky. Why am I lucky? It's terrible when I eat a hot pepper. Can you eat Korean or Mexican food? Yes, but. Only if it's really bland. Do you eat out often? Sometimes. Do you have a favorite restaurant? I do have a favorite vegetarian restaurant. Are you a vegetarian? Yes, I am. So you don't eat chicken or pork? No chicken. No pork, but I do eat fish. Are you a vegetarian for health reasons or religious reasons? Mostly for health reasons. All this talk about food is making me hungry. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Would you like to go to my favorite vegetarian restaurant? What what's good there? Of course, the vegetables are outstanding. Sounds delicious. Let's go. Good morning, sir. Can I see your ticket and passport? Certainly. There you are. Thank you. How many suitcases will you be checking in? Just one suitcase. Did you pack your bags yourself? Yes, I did. Okay. Do you have any electrical goods? I have an electric shaver in my hand luggage. Is that okay? That's fine. So nothing in your suitcase? No. Okay, 
Would you like a window or an aisle seat? An aisle seat, please. Okay. And just one moment. This is your seat number and departure gate. You can go straight through to the departure lounge. Enjoy your flight. What time will we be boarding? Oh, we begin boarding at 7. Okay, thank you. Would you like a newspaper to read, ma'am? No, thank you. If you would like to take off your seatbelts at this time, please do, and enjoy your flight. Would you like a newspaper to read, sir? 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 Oh! Would you like a newspaper to read, sir? Yes, I'll take the Daily Mail. There you go, sir. Thank you. It'll help to take my mind off things. I'm always a little nervous before flying. Oh, well, try not to worry too much. You know, air flight is the safest form of travel. I know. I'm sure I'll be better after we take off. You know, we have some flight entertainment for you, too. You'll find the movie guide on your desk or in the in-flight magazine. Oh, good. A nice film will help me to relax. Programs will start shortly after takeoff. If there's anything I can get for you, please just call for assistance. When will dinner be served? In about an hour or so. We have fish, steak, and vegetarian options. Which one would you like? Fish, please. Okay, I'll be back later. Now, please just try to relax and enjoy the flight. Sir, have you seen the catalog for our in-flight shop? This one? That's it. Would you like to order any duty-free goods? Yes, please. Can I pay by credit card? Yes, all major credit cards are accepted, but purchases must not exceed 500 USD. Okay, I'd like this bottle of squat scotch whiskey, please, at 34 US dollars. Right, that will be one bottle of Johnny Walker malt whiskey. Is there anything else you'd like, sir? Yes, I'd like these titanium sunglasses. Yes, they are priced at 145 US dollars. Will that be all, sir? Yes, that's everything. Thanks. The total bill comes to 179 USD. Can I have your credit card, please? Ah, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Sir, please wait while I collect your duty-free goods. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, sir. May I see your passport and immigration card, please? Sure, here you are. Thank you. Do you have anything to declare? No, I just have these duty-free items that I bought on the plane. That's okay. Welcome to Australia. Is this your first trip here? No, I came here on business a few years ago, but I couldn't stay long. Are you here on business or pleasure this time? Purely pleasure this time. Good. Are you staying? Are you planning on traveling around during your stay? Well, I've only got a week, so I'm planning on staying in Sydney. Yes, Australia is a big place. You will need a week to see it all. Maybe next time.
This time, I'm going to try and see all the tourist areas of Sydney. Good. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you. Unit 1 Shopping. Example 1 Can you please tell me the best place to go shopping? There are many places you can buy inexpensive gifts and souvenirs from department stores and shopping malls to markets and street vendors. What kinds of things should I buy? Traditional Thai handicrafts include cotton and silk weaving. I definitely want to buy some silk. Do you have any other suggestions? Paper parasols and wood carvings are other popular items. You're giving me some very useful ideas. Thank you. Example 2 What is the best market to go to? The best one here in Bangkok is the Chadu Chak Weekend Market. Is that the biggest? Yes, it's huge. You can buy just about anything there. And what about the floating market? Bangkok used to have many floating markets until they started to fill in the canals. There are still several around, but some of them are now just tourist shows. Probably the most authentic one is the Damnen Saduk floating market. Is it worth going to? Certainly. There are pictures of floating markets everywhere around Thailand. And the one trip to Bangkok wouldn't be complete without a look at one. Example 3 Do you have any advice for my visit to the market today? Hmm, be prepared to barter. You can get some real bargains. But watch out, the vendors will start by asking a high price for their goods. You can usually knock them down a lot, though. Hmm, that could be fun. Is there anything else I should know? It's very hot, so make sure you drink plenty of water. Thank you, I will. There's one more thing. It's very crowded, and there may be pickpockets around, so be careful with your wallet. Oh, okay. Thanks for the advice. Unit 2. Religion Example 1 If you're going to visit any temple, then there are a few things you should know. Yeah, go ahead. Well, temples are sacred places, so you should dress politely. Okay, what kinds of things should I avoid wearing? You shouldn't wear any shorts or sleeveless tops. And you might be refused admission if you're not wearing shoes with closed heels and toes. Make sure you take off your shoes, though, before you go inside. I'll remember that. Is there anything else? Just be careful not to tread on the door frame when you step inside. And if you sit down, then don't put your feet towards the Buddha. Can I kneel or sit cross-legged? Yes, either's fine. Example 2 The most celebrated architectural form of Thailand is the Wat, the Thai Buddhist temple complex. So the Wat is comprised of more than one building? Yes, our Wat is made up of several buildings that all serve all the religious needs of the monastic community. There seems to be a lot of temples in Thailand. There are. Thailand has nearly 18,000 Buddhist temples throughout the country. Wow, that's a lot. Well, the temples provide religious sanctuaries for Thailand's Buddhists, who account for about 95% of the population. 
The temples are covered with the most beautiful paintings. We're very proud of them. The mural paintings are one of Thailand's great artistic achievements. Do they all depict similar stories? Well, all the scenes are inspired by Buddhist doctrines and are usually intended to teach the worshippers about religion and morality. Example 3 I've seen miniature temples next to people's houses. What are they for? Ah, they're spirit houses. Every tight house or building has one. So people believe that spirits live in them? Yes, Thai people believe sacred spirits live in their houses. The spirits are called prapum. They make special spirit houses for prapum to live in. I've seen some Thai people putting flowers and things inside. The family pays their respect to Prapum at the spirit house, so the spirits will protect the family and bring good fortune. Thank you, that's very interesting. We have nothing like that back home. <music> Unit 3, Bangkok's Attractions When was the Grand Palace built? King Rama I began construction of the palace in 1882, which also marks the founding of the Jaki dynasty. The complex is made up of more than 100 buildings, covering an area of 132 acres. What was the first built at the Grand Palace? First, there were three parts, the throne hall, the royal residence, and Wat Prakyo. It looks like Ayutthaya style. Yes, the grand palace is a copy of the former palace that used to be in an Ayutthaya. Fantastic. Does the king actually live here? No, this used to be the king's residence. But now the king and his family reside at Jitlada Palace. Oh, so what's inside? The most important is the Jagari Maha Prasat, throne hall, where the king receives ambassadors at the presentation of their credentials. Are there many ceremonies conducted in this area? Yes. There are some special royal ceremonies held in an open field called Sanam Luang that are nearby too. Are there other important temples? Yes, another interesting temple is Wat Pho. So... What is Wat Pho famous for? Wat Pho is an ancient temple, one of the oldest and largest Wats in Bangkok. And it's famous for its magnificent statue, a gigantic 46-meter reclining Buddha. Wow, that's huge. How old is it? As a temple site, it dates back to the 16th century, but it was completely rebuilt in 1781. Is that also the place I can get a massage? Yes, it's the center for teaching of traditional Thai healing and massage. And our session will cost you about a hundred baht. I think I'll go there tomorrow. I can do it with a massage. What other temples can I visit? There's one more very famous temple. It's called Wat Arun. Wat Arun? Yes, or more commonly known as the Temple of Dawn. The architecture has some distinctive features. Its style is typical of the Ayutthaya period. I think I've seen a picture. It has a huge pagoda, doesn't it? 
Yes, the pagoda is very large. It is 82 meters high and 234 meters wide, sitting on the bank of the mighty top layer river. What's in the compound? The pavilion contains massive murals that depict images of the Buddha's life. That's well worth a look, too. Thank you. Unit 1. Historical Sites in Ayutthaya Where is Ayutthaya? Ayutthaya stands on the Chao Praia River, not too far from Bangkok, about an hour and a half by car. It used to be the old capital, right? Yes, the city served as the capital of Siam until 1767, when it was sacked by the Burmese and the capital was moved to Bangkok. What can I expect to see there? There are several magnificent ancient Buddhist pagodas that are still standing, and also a 16th century palace built on a nearby island as a summer residence for the king. I'd like to find out more about ancient ruins. This was one of Thailand's golden eras, and there are many enchanting ruins there. It's a World Heritage Site. What is the most important site there? Among other points of interest is Wat Phra Si Senfet. Was that the royal palace? It was used as a royal temple and palace by several kings, and once housed a colossal 16-meter-high Buddha covered with 250 kilograms of gold. What happened to it? It was melted down by the Burmese when they conquered the capital. That's a shame. I'm sure it would have been an awesome sight. Now the site is mainly known for the line of three large chetties, which contain the remains of the royal families. Are there any other attractions nearby? There is a Bengpa Inn, which was constructed as a summer palace for King Rama V. What's there? The complex is made of a collection of many ornate buildings, including the Chinese-style Wahat Charum Palace that is open to visitors. Anything else? Yes, there's the Elephant Crown, which is a restored version of the wooden stockade, once used for the annual roundup of wild elephants. The king used to have a waiting platform there from which to observe the thrilling event. Unit 2. Attractions in Chiang Mai How big is Chiang Mai? Chiang Mai is one of Thailand's largest cities. It covers an area of 20,000 square kilometers. Could you please tell me some interesting places to visit? There are many ruins of the 13th and 14th century temples in the old section of the city. What is the most famous temple? The most famous temple in Chiang Mai isn't within the walled city, but is located on a nearby hilltop. It's called Wat Phra Dat Doi Sutep. How high is Doi Sutep? It's 3,520 feet above sea level and forms a picturesque backdrop of the city. Why is it considered the most sacred temple in Chiang Mai? Within the temple complex, there's a chedi which is believed to contain relics of Lord Buddha. Many people make pilgrimages each year to this temple. Is Chiang Mai an ancient city? Chiang Mai was founded in 1296 on the site of an 11th century settlement and was the capital of the Lana Thai Kingdom. What is there to see and do in Chiang Mai? There are an increasing number of cultural learning experiences available. 
You can try Thai cooking, massage, yoga, meditation, and more. I've been told that the handicrafts in Chiang Mai are very popular. What can I buy there? All kinds of things. They vary from silverware to wood carvings and silk to pottery. Is there a market? Yes, Chiang Mai is famous for its night bazaar. It's a really good market and a great place to buy your souvenirs. It sounds like there's quite a lot to do. Maybe I should stay a little longer than I planned to make sure I get to see all these places. I'm glad to hear that. You know, if you're staying there for more than just a couple days, Another popular excursion is to take a trek up to one of the local hill tribes. I've seen postcards of people trekking in the hills, riding on the backs of elephants. Can I ride one? Yes, it's a great way to travel. You can sit down and take in the splendor of the majestic countryside. It is a little bumpy, though. And a lot of fun, too? Yes. Can I have some more information about your tours there? Sure, and if you need any more help, please come and ask. Thank you.